in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of rage. The person will appear shy as they show you to a door and then walk away. When you enter the door, you will be looking down a staircase that descends into darkness. As you descend the stairs, you will begin to hear screams. The screams will come from a throat of indeterminate origin. If the screaming stops at any time, shout to the darkness. Resume your business. I do not wish to intrude. If the screaming does not come back, there is nothing you can do, for you will be dead before you know what happens. If the screaming continues, you may move on. Eventually, you will see a light coming through the cracks in the door. Go through this door, and you will be in what appears to be a medieval dungeon. Hollowed out skulls filled with candles serve as lanterns, and skeletons line the walls. There will be a wooden table in front of a fire inside the fireplace. On this table is the severed head of a four-year-old girl, staring ahead with glassy eyes. Step up to the table and look the head in the eyes. In a clear, commanding voice, ask, Who will stop them from coming together? The hand will look you in the eyes and tell you the tale of a man. She will tell you his entire story from his violent birth to what he is doing that very moment. His deeds will be recounted in horrifying detail. He is a murderer of which the likes have never been seen and he is just as mad. If at the end of the story the head tells you he is listening to our conversation, you will be dragged out of the room and never be heard from again. You will experience all of the most horrifying things ever conceived, and you will be kept alive until you have experienced them all. If she tells you he is elsewhere, he is now looking for you, and he will not stop until you are dead or the objects come together. She will tell you to pick her up, pick up the head by the hair, and look at the table where she was. Sitting there will be a needle covered in dried blood, semen, pus, and other countless unidentifiable substances. That needle is Object 21 of 538. The hunt has begun, and the clock is ticking.